If you are using Dataverse choice columns data types, you will need to watch this video. What I'm going to show you today here, as you can see in this data, in this Power Automate flow, I have actually a HTML table that I created and I can show some kind of choice values and choice labels. Actually, this is something I constructed to get these values in a choice list that link to or use by a choice column in a table in Dataverse. How I do that, I'm going to hop in real quick and show you exactly how we do this. So this is a, a, a Power Automate instance flow. I use the list rows action, as you can see here. And this rows, as you can see, or this action, it will list rows from the table that called order items. This order items table has a column called flavor, and this column is a choice column that link to a choice list. That choice list has multiple flavors at this time. We have some records in this table. I want to see all the choices that has been or have been used so far in this table. So to do that, I get the table records and then I will construct a table using the select function. I'm passing the value of the output of the list rows, the previous action, and then I'm creating two columns. The first one I call it choice column value and the second one is choice column label. In the value what I'm getting is that using basically uh, expression item as you can see here this is the expression that we are using. What you need to do is using basically the logical name of that column the choice column you have in the table and to get this again I'm gonna go real quick here I'm gonna go to my order items uh, table go to columns I will filter by my prefix to get my custom custom columns this is the item flavor you, you click on these three dots advances or advanced copy logical name so this is basically what I did here and what do you use here you just use the item function and then you put the uh, logical name of that uh, 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 column right for the second one it's gonna be the same thing but we are using basically the odata.community.display.version1.formatted value again this is basically a format that if we use we get actually the label of that uh, 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 choice uh, value again this is something we also use when we are using the lookup columns the same thing if you use the lookup columns in Dataverse you will use the odata.community.display to basically get the value of that lookup you know value uh, in the in, in the lookup column right so this is this is what I did here the second thing I did is basically going ahead and using this select output this output from this select and I use the union function and as you can see here the union function is very simple basically I'm taking the output of the select and then comma again is the output of the selects I do this to be, get the distinct value so I want to just get the distinct list of all these choices that I have and once once that done I have actually create HTML I'm taking the output of the compose which is going to be the unique values of those choices and I'm actually using two headers the first one in in the HTML table is the choice value in the choice value I'm using just the item pro again this is the item function of the uh, choice column value this is the one that we mapped on the select the second one is going to be the label again it's the same thing using the item uh, of choice column label and this is the second column that we mapped on the select and that's it so if I run this now let's go ahead and test it it's running Perfect. And now here you go. We have all these choices that we have now in this table so far, right? So, and, and, and you can see, you, you see the header and you see actually these rows. This is the value and this is that label. If I go back to my choices, and as I said, we have this uh, 
choice that we are using here, choice list that we are using here, the cupcake item flavor. As you can see that this is a global choice. That's number one. And then, and these are the choices that we have. What if we want to actually add manually, like, you know, or automatically or dynamically we add as, as, as you can actually have a scenario where you are loading data from external source using Power Automate, right? So are you loading the data? Uh, you want to actually use this data uh, uh, and they might have new values in, 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 in these choice columns. So you want to actually create these new values. Or for example, if your user is using a Canvas app and they want to actually create a new value, right? They, they click on the drop down menu. They couldn't find the value you know that they want to select right and then uh, you have this option for them to create actually a new value right how we can do this uh, uh, so here we can actually go back to our power automate flow and what i will do here it's going to be just one action so let's say that how we get this new value it, this this time it's going to be by uh, basically getting an input uh, in our case here and we're going to call it a uh, choice value or choice label basically because we just need the label we need the text that value will be generated automatically and then uh, uh, obviously you don't need all these actions probably you know so in, in, in and to create basically new choice I'm just you know combining both so in case that you want to actually get those existing values and then check if the value that you are using it's not there then create it this kind of scenario or if you want to just as I said you know have uh, you know uh, your end users click a button in in the canvas app to create a new choice column so basically what you do here you will uh, uh, you will have to use uh, perform and pound action for Microsoft Dataverse. That's what action we're gonna use. And this action we're gonna use, uh, uh, the action name that we are using, it call actually insert option value, right? This is the, this is the uh, action that we are using with this action. Uh, again, what you need, you need the option set logical name. Again, this is where you get it from. You go to your option set or your choices. You click on the three dots, advance, and then obviously you cannot get it from here sorry i forgot so you click on it uh, the easiest way you go to advanced options and i just copy it from here uh, i learned this uh you know i couldn't just find it and and you just paste it here you don't need single quotes you don't need double quotes nothing the second thing that you need is basically you label that's it as i said you know you don't need you can put a value if you want to you just have to make sure that this value does not exist already on that choice list or you can just leave it and it will be generated automatically for you and and that's what i prefer what the label is going to be has to be a json and and to do that i i have this uh, uh format right here um that i'm gonna get for you so uh, that's the format i will get and it will be in the label right here again uh, what we will have here obviously it's gonna be what we will enter in that input so i'm gonna go here and uh the user input and we will call it uh, it's already there it's the choice label and that's it so basically this is what we need this is the json that we're looking for it's a localized uh, label and then uh, you will have uh, uh, you know two properties that you need to use here is the label property again this is a text value and then the language code which is english in case you are using english that's it so that's that's will actually go ahead and create new value for you in that choice so let's go ahead save and test And at this time, I will just call it orange. And let's just check it out. See, I don't have orange right here. So I have banana, blueberry, strawberry, vanilla, apple, mango, cinnamon, chocolate. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and click run the flow. Done. Perfect. It has run successfully and let's go and check actually this one so i'm gonna actually go ahead and just refresh right here go ahead and click 
as you can see that the orange was created for me and I have the value as well. So this is how you actually create easy, straightforward like that. You can create new values. And, uh, uh, and now, obviously, if we run the flow again, so if I actually go ahead and, and, and basically before that, I, if I go and added a new order items, so I'm going to go to a table right here. I have order item and let's actually uh, select something different this time. Uh, or we can actually just, uh, you know, change one of these value right here, the banana. I'm going to change it to orange that we just created. And uh, we're going to just go ahead and basically uh, run the, the, the flow again. But before that, uh, I would like actually to... delete this action here just to not create another one of the orange uh, choice I'm gonna go ahead and click save and test yeah that's fine run the flow done and let's see my table as you can see here this is my table now uh, you know with the orange is being already created uh, because it's there is a record now actually showing that the orange so this is just a, you know a, a, a quick trick uh, for you how you actually can get all these choices from an existing records and obviously here I'm not getting these values from the choice list directly uh, I'm actually getting these choices that exist in records in a table uh, so you can actually go and get these values from that choice uh, you know automatically and and then based on whatever scenario they're using you can do that the scenario that i had to use this as i said if you have a, a drop down or a combo box on a canvas app that using a dataverse table and then this uh, drop down or combo box is using basically the choices that you have and then the user actually has a new choice that they would like to add and they have the permission to do so they can click a button that run a flow basically you will pass the value uh, of, of, of this new uh, value and then you will basically uh, 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 create it through the power automate uh, I hope you find this uh, uh, video useful uh, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.